my finger. That's what you asked. No, what was it? We're your, not going to need to argue, ma'am. Where's your camera? Uh, still where it's at, ma'am. But it wasn't in my face, right? Okay. I'm asking you a question. Obviously. And okay. We're done. Is it an answer? You're done, ma'am. I'm not done. Okay. You can continue. I'm just, I'm not going to argue with you. It's like, there's no point. Right. You know, it's like arguing with the wall. When you're arguing with a drunk person, it's arguing with the wall. That's what it is. Ma'am, I'm also at home in New Mexico State Police. You understand the reason why I'm stopping here? Okay, you have no lights on. Okay, you don't have no lights on, and you're kind of drifting from left to right. Okay, and your license and registration is coming back suspended, I guess, because of insurance purposes. Do you have a driver's license? Your insurance is what? Your ID is Do you have it with you, though? Okay, can I see it? You don't have your ID on you? Do you have insurance? Anything with the station? Nothing like that? Nothing? Okay. Okay, is everything alright? Okay. So already here? Okay. What's your name? What's that? Gadra? And what's your last name? Hernandez? Um, I'm gonna have you step on out, okay, Mr. Fernandez? Do you have any weapons on you? Nah, there's guns, ATN, you know about? Cool. Step on out, speak me at the river, please. Okay. Come on, come over here for me, please, Mr. Fernandez. Are you just bumper in my vehicle? What's going on tonight? Why you don't have any lights on? You're tripping on the roadway. Um, I stepped from the water burner, angry maybe. That's why. Um, other than that, no. Okay. You said the water burner. What water burner are you coming from? Just the one right there. It's H E A or H E R N. M A N. And how you pronounce your first name? Or how you spell it? Spell it. Two R's? Mm -hmm. R, R? L.A. L.A.? Mm-hmm. And what's your birthday? Ninth. You missed Hernandez. So, why were you drifting from left to right? Were you distracted? Hang yes, on. I'm trying, I'm trying to, I mean, I, I wasn't sure. Okay. I got you, I got you. Miss Hernandez, was, yes. how much have you had to drink tonight? I haven't. I'm asking for a reason. I think no, all the Okay. When was the last time you had something to drink then? I haven't had anything to drink. Something to get spilled on you or anything? I haven't had anything to Something to get spilled on you? I haven't had anything to drink. Okay. Gotcha. Have you had any recent head injuries? No. You were like, no. Eye contacts? You can look at the center here. Take a step, there you go. You can get a look at mine. Hands right at your side. I'm going to need you to remain in that position there. Do you understand? Mm hmm. I have you start the tip of my right index finger with your eyes and do not move your head. Do you have okay. any questions? No. Completely understand my instructions? Yes. Okay, you see my finger, ma'am? Mm hmm. Follow my finger with your eyes and do not move your head. Do you understand? Okay.
Last name Hernandez, common spelling. First name Robert, Robert, Lincoln, Adam. Date of birth 1990. It'll be 10-6 fields with Miss Hernandez. jacket, at least for now. This is supposed to be a night where it was supposed to be out in the cold. I know, I understand. Go and come over here for me, please. Right here. So I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you put your hands through that, the, the, the arms. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So right here, obviously, this is not the flattest part, you know, this place. This is embarrassing. So listen, I know this is not the flattest thing, there is an uphill, but I'm going to do my best to give you the opportunity, okay? Can you stand right here, on this side of the little track, facing your vehicle. So can you do me a favor, can you put your feet together just like mine? Can you picture an imaginary line on the ground from where your left foot is, straight out in front of you to my right foot? Um, to you. To your left foot or to your right foot? So can you just stay right there, picture an imaginary line on the ground from where your left foot is? Straight out front to my right foot. Can you put your straight line on the ground? Yes. This line is approximately the width of your shoe. Do you understand that? Yes. All right, Mr. Fernandez, what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you put your left foot on that line. Take your right foot, place it directly in front of your left foot, just like that. Stop right there. Hands directly to the side. Keep both feet planted on the ground for a minute. I'm going to have you keep your hands directly to the side. You're going to remain in that position there. So I'm going to give you all the instructions. Okay. You will not start the test until I tell you to do so. Do you understand? So, Ms. Hernandez, not tell you, tell you to do so, you're going to take nine steps forward on this imaginary line. You're going to look downward at your feet, count each step out loud, touch heel to toe on each step, and keep your hands very good side at all times. Do you have any questions? So, look, I'm going to demonstrate this test to you. It's going to look like this one. One, two, three. I took three steps, you're going to take nine steps. Do you understand? On your ninth step, your front foot's going to stay planted on the ground. With your back, which is your opposite, but you're going to take a series of small steps just like this. Okay, Turn yourself. Right. Yes, ma'am. Now you're going to be facing the front of my patrol unit. Okay. Do you have any questions? Okay. Once the lap checks, you'll proceed back nine steps in the same imaginary like so. One, two, three. See how I did that? Yep. 
Once again, I took three steps. How many steps are you going to take? Nine. And once you start this test, you cannot stop until it's completed fully. Do you, you have any it. questions? No. Completely understand everything? Second. Hold on. I didn't tell you to start yet. Okay. Take your step back. Do you have any questions? No. Completely understand everything? Put your right foot directly in front of your left foot, please. No questions at all? No. Go and begin, ma'am. Right there, if you're done, face me. Put your feet together just like mine. And then I can stay just like that. And you're not going to start the test until I tell you to do so. Do you understand? Yes. Well, when I do tell you to do so, you're going to pick the foot of your choice. It could be your right foot or your left foot. Okay. You're going to lift that foot across from six inches from the ground. You're going to keep your foot parallel to the ground. You're going to keep your hands right inside, both legs straight. Okay. You're going to look down at your raised foot. And you're going to count an upper matter by 1,000. Similar to this, 1,001. 1,002. 1,003. Where do you upward. want me to go? Right or left? It doesn't matter. You said my choice. Yep, it's your choice. So okay. either you're right or you're left. 1,001 until what? 1,000 what? You're just going to continue counting upwards by 1,000 until I tie it to that. Do you have any questions? Do you have any questions? So I'm going to demonstrate this test. I'm going to pick my right foot from the demonstration. 1,000, 10, 30, 40, 15. Keep on counting upwards until I tie it to that. Okay. So look, I'm going to demonstrate. I'm going to pick my right foot from the demonstration. You see how I'm doing it? I'm going to keep your foot down for me, please. You keep your foot parallel to the ground, approximately six inches from the ground. Do not point up this is parallel. Do you understand? So okay. do you want me to move or do you want me to count? Because you asked me to put up my foot, but then you want me to count. Yes, ma'am. I want you to do both. Okay, so look at I can't walk and have my foot pivot. Nobody's telling you to walk, ma'am. Okay, that's fine. No worries. No worries. Listen. You just said this is on you. You're, I need you to... Yeah, I need you to pay attention, okay? So listen. Okay. I'm going to tell you exactly what I expected of you. Okay. Try to do so, you're going to pick the foot of your choice, either your right or your left foot, just like I'm doing. I'm going to pick my right foot off the ground. You see how I'm doing it? My right foot. Keep, yes. Your right foot. Right? I'm going to keep my right foot up. You said I had my choice. You do. Right or left. Yes, ma'am, you do. Okay. So you're going to keep that foot approximately six inches from the ground. You see how I'm doing it? This is parallel to the ground. Do not point out this is parallel. Do you understand? Hands right which side, both legs straight. You're going to look down at your raised foot, and you're going to count an upper line about 1,000. See this, 1,001, 1,002. Counting upward by 1,000 and tie tie to stop. Can you count to 1,000? How I many? Just did. The same 1,000 I'm counting? You're going to count in an upper okay, matter by 1,000. Do you that's have any fine. questions? No. You completely understand everything? Yeah. I'm just I'm not going to Go and this. begin, ma'am. 1,001, 1,002, 1,000. Don't pick your foot up. The two left off, please. 1,004, <laughs> 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008, 1,009, 1,010, 1,011. 1,012, 1,013, 1,014, 1,015, 1,016, 1,017, 1,018, 1,019, 1,020, 1,021, 1,022, 1,023, 1,024, 1,025. Okay, ma'am. What's your highest level of education? Yes. So I'm going to do an alternative. You're going to count backwards, starting with the number 62, counting backwards, stopping at the number 47. Is your jacket supposed to be something to me? Am I supposed to not have this jacket on? I'm just giving you my jacket to make sure you're warm, ma'am. I'm out here freezing okay. because you have my jacket. Okay. 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 So listen, I'm going to have you count backwards, starting with the number 62, counting backwards, stopping at the number 47. Say each starting, number. Wait, wait, starting what number? 62, counting backwards. <laughs> Starting with 62, ending with number 47. Saying each number out loud so okay. we can hear you. Do you have any questions? No. Say it out loud, please. 61. 
Stop right there, go put your hands on your back, please, Mr. Henry. And do not move, okay? I'll let you keep your jacket on until we get to the office, okay? Yes, yes ma'am, at this time you are being arrested for DWI. I just did everything for you. I just did everything for you. 10 zero one, Ms. Fernandez, you are being arrested for DWI. Do you have anything that's going to stand me, hopefully, harm in any way? No. Do you have any pockets? No. Do you have anything in your pockets no. or anything in your leggings or anything like that? No. Why am I being problem? arrested? DWI. But I just did everything you asked me to do. I know. And I appreciate that. Okay? But I don't think you should be driving right now. I really don't. Okay? And that's just me telling you straight up. But I just passed everything you asked me to pass. Okay, and that's your personal opinion. Listen, do you have anything in your bra? Do you have a bra on? Do you have any money, keys, cards, anything in that nature? Basically, what you're going to do is I'm going to conduct a pass on you. I'm going to utilize the back of my hand. Anything that's going to stab me, poke me, harm me in any way. Okay. Doing it now, ma'am? You got a hold of your wallet? Okay. Anything in between? Yes, ma'am. Give me a second. I'm going to have one on me right now, okay? So listen to me. I'm about to tell you something important. You're under arrest for driving while under the influence. Can I, okay, can I call my family or something to pick up my car? What's going on? Why am I being arrested for this? I told you, DWI, man. Are you going to yell at me or are you going to listen to me? No. I'm going to talk to you okay. like a human being. Perfect. I would appreciate that. I'm talking I to you like a I would appreciate that. I'm that talking would to you sound like so exactly. great. Okay. Go ahead. So, while oh, you're sitting here watching my burgers went down my nose. Your vehicle's gonna get towed. It has to get towed. Why? Because it was involved in the crime. What crime? DWI. That's what I told you. And I'm involved in what DWI? Uh, you're arrested for DWI. But I just passed everything you said to me, and I haven't had anything to drink. Okay. And so I'm gonna read you something. No, 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 no. You listen to me? No. You wanna listen to me? Can I speak? Yeah, I'll let you speak. Let me speak. I know you. I know. I know you wanna speak. I know, no, 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 no. Do you have anything in the mouth that you eat in your Do you have anything between your teeth and your gums? I'm asking you a question before you start sneaking up my nose and my mouth. I asked you a question, though. Did I not ask you a question? You're not asking me what to see. Cameras. Why are you not putting me in front of the cameras? There's cameras everywhere, man. I'm walking in the room with my vehicle. There is a camera here. Have a seat, please. There's a seat belt have a seat. guarding us from going in the seat belt. That's how it's supposed to be, ma'am. Go ahead and have a seat, please. Put your left leg in and slide in, please. Thank you. Want to lean back for me, please, Mr. Hernandez? Go and lean back, please. Make a note of it. 2201 hours. 
Quite concerned will be read at the office. Melton Stream Creek, Thermal Deprivation Period at 2204 and roll 46 mile location, please. I'll give you a phone call. What you do when you're cold? Yeah, you snap you your little jacket. hands back and forth? You got my jacket, yes, ma'am. John, it looks like you just won a Super Bowl. Uh -huh. That's how you snap your hands when you're cold? Uh, yep, pretty much. I'm going to read you something because I didn't get to read it to you on the side of the road since you, uh, huh? Since uh, you, we were not really on a communication type uh, basis. So you, I need to read this to you. It's very important. 
I'm gonna need you to pay attention. I'll answer any questions you have. You haven't answered any till this point. Okay. Are you gonna listen to me or are you gonna argue with me now? So I'm, I'm gonna talking read you. to you. Okay, I'm gonna read Whether you this. Whether you think it's an argument or not, it's up to you. Cool. It's your opinion. Listen to me. I'm about to tell you something important. You are under arrest for driving under the influence of intoxicating liquor and or drugs. The New Mexico Implied Consent Act requires you to submit to a breath test to determine the alcohol content of your blood. I'm not going to do it. After you take our test, you have the right to choose an additional independent test. If you choose to take this additional independent test, you have the right to a reasonable opportunity range for a physician, a licensed nurse, a laboratory technician, or technologist who is employed by a hospital or a physician of your own choice to perform an additional chemical test. And the cost of this additional test will be paid by the law enforcement agency, which is New Mexico State Police. Do you agree to take our test? No. So I'm going to continue reading. I cannot force you to take our test, but if you refuse, you will lose your New Mexico driver's license or non-resident operating privilege for one year. If you are convicted in court of driving one of the influence, you may also receive a greater sentence because you refuse to be tested. Do you understand that? Yes. Do you now agree to be tested? Yes. No, I'm not being tested. Okay. So I'm going to continue your actions to refuse to be tested this time, as well as you're going to be charged with aggravated DWI. It's just how the state works. Do you understand? And you blow into the machine and you get tested, man. And that's it? Uh, then, depending on your breath score, will determine what uh, your charges will be. You don't have to answer right now. Um, I'll give you another opportunity. I know you initially stated no, so I'll give you another opportunity here in a few minutes, uh, a few seconds, okay? So think about it a little bit. Unfortunately, not at this moment. Um, I can read you that portion that states right here. It says, your right to speak in a, to an attorney or remain silent does not apply to the requirement of New Mexico law that you take a breath test. Do you now agree to be tested? What does it say? What does it say? One more time. It says, your right to speak to an attorney or remain silent does not apply to the requirement of the New Mexico law that you take a breath test. Do you now agree to be tested? At this moment. And then after? What's that? After you can make I'm gonna give you a phone call, you can make a phone call. So Ms. Hernandez, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna enter your information into this machine. This is an intoxilizer eight thousand. This is what I was asking about. Do you agree to take the breath test? You stated no, then you stated yes, and you stated no, and then you stated yes. I don't know what you're trying to insinuate, so due to the fact that you said it multiple times, um no. I'm going to still give you the opportunity to provide a breast sample into this machine. Okay, no. I will tell you when you are able to provide a breast sample, and at that time you tell me no. We'll see you until the machine times out. Usually it takes about three minutes or so. My name is spelled with two R's, not one. Okay.
Where's my phone in? It's over there by the computer, man. That was coming in. What was that? Is that a message that was coming in? I'm not too sure, man. No, man, we're not looking at the phone, remember? So listen, man, I enter your information to this IR8000. This is the intoxilizer. This is the breath test. Mm -hmm. Okay? Um, like you said, you said no, you said yes, you said no, and then you I recently said no. just said no. Okay, so I'm giving you the opportunity. This is a fresh mouthpiece, sealed on both sides. I'm not going to open it until it's up to you, until it's out in front of you. Okay? So, at that time, I'll say it's time to provide a breath sample if you choose to. Cool, I'll walk you through on how to do it. If you say no, we'll see here until the machine times out. Usually takes about three minutes, and ultimately you're going to get charged with the aggravated DWI. That's just how the state works. Do you understand that? Do you have any questions? No. Cool. What does that say, Mom, on the screen? This is where you can blow, uh, provide a breath sample into the machine. Do you wish to do so? I answer your question. Okay. We'll see here until the machine times out. It usually takes about three minutes, Mom. Just a sec. What's that? Oh, I thought you had a question. Is there a camera on you? Mm-hmm. Right here, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So why didn't... Yes, ma'am. So why doesn't it up when I was talking to you face-to-face? Why wasn't it higher when I was talking to you face-to-face? Why wasn't it higher when I was talking to you face-to-face? It's been here my entire career, ma'am. On your belt. Mm -hmm. But what about when I was talking to you at the face? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, Are you talking about on the side of the road? Yeah. Yes, it was still on. There's also another uh, camera it? No, in the why front wasn't of the vehicle. It, why wasn't it recording Don't worry, it's all documented, ma'am. Don't worry. You were doing a, a little finger test on me, weren't you? Mm-hmm. So where was your finger? On your belt? Uh, on your face. Near your face, right? Your belt was? On my finger, that's what you asked. No, where was your camera? We're not going to need to argue, ma'am. Uh, still where it's at, ma'am. But it wasn't on my face, right? Okay. I'm asking you a question. Obviously. And okay. We're done. Isn't an answer? You're done, ma'am. I'm not done. Okay. You can continue. I'm just, I'm not going to argue with you. It's like, there's no point. Right. I know. You know, it's like arguing with the wall. When you're arguing with a drunk person, it's arguing with the wall. That's what it is. Person? Mm-hmm. Yep. So I'm as drunk as you are. I'm sure. Do you have a badge above me? No, ma'am. I just want to know where your camera was when you were recording me doing your finger test. Okay, ma'am. Was it not being recorded? My, your finger wasn't down there. My face wasn't down there when you were recording me. Why aren't you trying to record me right now when I'm talking to you? Go ahead, ma'am. There it is. <laughs> if I'm so drunk and so belligerent, why can't you talk to me like that? Because obviously you don't understand. That you were recording my finger? <laughs> we'll give him. That's the machine timing out with no sample introduced.
Would you like to make a phone call now? Mm -hmm. Is that? Yes, I do. Okay. Are you going to be able to utilize the department phone? You have basically two minutes to call somebody and let them know where you're at. Tell them you're alive, you're going to be going to the jail. And to be standing by for at least a phone call when you get out in a couple hours, hopefully eight to ten hours, you'll be out and be able to get released. Do you know the phone number that you need to call? Are you gonna need my phone to get it? Yeah, I'll give you an opportunity to use that phone. <laughs> Can I come over here, please? That's my card. I know. Do you want to use the phone or not, ma'am? I do, but you just left my credit card. We're not going nowhere. I don't know why you have my credit card with you. Why do you have my credit card? Do you want to use the phone or not? I asked you why you have my credit card. Because it's going with you. So it will be left inside the, the dang vehicle when it got towed. So you're going to ask more questions, that's fine. I'm 100% to answer them, prerogative. but I'm not going to be disrespected. I can do that. I can ask questions. So do you want to use your phone or not? Uh, me asking questions is disrespecting cool. you. Obviously, you don't want to use your phone, right? So yes, we'll just I do. turn it off. I want to call. We'll turn no, it off. No, I want to call. And then you I get can a call. call the jail then. I get a call. Come on, see over here, please. I get a call. Why would you not let me call somebody? Because you obviously don't want to call me. You want to continue yelling at me and disrespecting me. Because you took so my when you credit card? Down, when you calm down, then you will be able to get a phone call. Till then... You can sit here. Yes, ma'am, it is. Have a seat, please. We'll try again here later on when you're calmed down, okay?